So good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Philip Wade here from the Universal Studio in North Yorkshire in England. And you can see the subjects I wanted to talk about today on the screen there, being your own spiritual leader. And I was reflecting on this over the last few days uh, when I first was working and found to my surprise, uh, how quickly I got promoted and eventually into running my first large business. I was very interested in leadership and the difference in between leadership and management. I looked at lots and lots of different sources and didn't really find anybody at first who could offer clarity on the difference between the two and then i came across a story from a gentleman you may have heard of uh, called stephen covey who's now passed over uh, and i'll tell the story on this because it's quite long but it's really useful and i'll maybe share that some other time but basically the essence of the message of the story was that you lead people and manage things and lots of businesses have lots of things that need to be managed. But when it comes to people, it's about leadership and showing them a direction and inviting them to, to that. And then later, a further clarity came on that, which was, which was this, it was basically, the greatest leader isn't the one with the most followers, but it's the one that brings out the leadership skills in the others. The greatest leader isn't the one with the most followers, it's the one that can bring out those leadership skills in the others. Now you might wonder what all of this has got to do with spiritual self-realization. Well, I'm gonna take that even further now because if we lead people and manage things and then the greatest leadership skill is bringing out the leadership skills in the other in others then it when it comes to spiritual self-realization one thing that doesn't seem to be fully embraced or understood by many that in my observation is that yes there may be people in the role of what i call spiritual teachers gurus masters and so forth but ultimately if you're listening carefully enough to the pointings and insights that are emerging. Everything in there is pointing to you realizing that that which you are seeking is already here inside in the inner infinite dimensions. And that nobody and indeed no one can give that to you because for the simple reason you already have it and are it. So no matter how many teachings, how many satsangs, how many books and so forth you attend or do, ultimately this realization is only going to arise from within. And that means you have to be ultimately your own spiritual leader. I'll often say I never taught anybody anything about self-realization. All that ever happened was that they realized what was already here. So yes, you may look to specific people, to specific resources, specific books for insight and guidance, but when you're finding a resonance in that, it's because there's a resonance of what's already here in you. And it is your own commitment and only your own commitment to what I call the highest and greatest good, the highest truth of that which you are, is going to bring about that realization. The opening to the realization of that possibility that's already here, it's not going to be gifted to you, you can only realize it. So in the context of spiritual self-realization, ultimate, the ultimate leader 
is yourself and that's your true self and it's already here and you are that. Namaste, namaste, namaste. Have a beautiful day wherever you are.